This military makeover is brought to you in part by My Computer Career. Born into a family with a rich history of military service, Tech Sergeant Michelle Dingy became the first female in her family to proudly embark on a military career. During her deployment to Rammstein, Germany in 2004, Michelle was assigned to provide care for wounded soldiers returning from the battlefields of Iraq and Afghanistan. And during this time, Michelle was confronted with some of the most gruesome and heartbreaking horrors of warfare one could ever face. Experiences that still haunt her to this day. But through it all, Michelle's skills and expertise continue to develop to the highest standard. A recognized leader in the field, she was selected for the NASA Space Transportation Systems and Humanitarian Missions. And now, over two decades from the day she enlisted in the military, Military Maker has arrived at her doorstep. Not just to say thank you for her 14 years of incredible service, but to show. You've tuned into our newest season of Military Makeover here in the heart of Hollywood, Florida, where Michelle's inspirational story begins right now. Well, you've had a boat, a golf cart, and all kinds of cars, but I figured a bicycle built for two is amazing. I will take it. I'm going to get in. Are you going to make me pedal, too? Uh, that's the whole idea. But first, look at this beautiful ocean. Look at this beautiful beach. Get inspiration from Michelle's house. Are you ready to meet her? I am. Are we going to do this all the way there? All the way. Let's go. Actually, no, I have a car ready. <laughs> let's just go down the boardwalk. Oh, I didn't know I'd have to put effort in. Well, Jen, here we are. First impressions? It's every neutral color I don't want to use. <laughs> and they need some landscaping. Let's go meet Michelle. Hello. Hi, Michelle. Hello. Hi. Art and Jen. I'm coming on in. Ooh, I like your house. Would you guys care for a cup of coffee? I just made a pot. Love it. And who's the pretty little lady? This is Lily. Oh, hi, Lily. So, Michelle, Air Force veteran. You've seen a lot. You've done a lot. And now we're going to hear your story and make your home better. Are you excited? I am ecstatic. The things I would love to change in the house, you know, would be maybe having a new roof, you know, updating the spare bathroom in the first spare bedroom, possibly having an office slash exercise room and removing the inner fence to enlarge in the, the backyard would be absolutely fantastic. Your kitchen is nice, but I can see that it probably needs to be updated to a modern kind of feel of just function. Yes, I would love that. Especially a little dishwasher would might help. Just oh my a gosh, bit. you are absolutely right. <laughs> Nobody likes doing dishes. And then maybe we find a space that it's a workout room and then do you office from home? I do. Since COVID, you know, occurred back last March, you know, we've been working from home. We recently have transitioned to a hybrid. So I have my little nook right there where I, where I work from home. Are you ready for like a fresh start in your life in general? I am. You know, I got out of the military, transitioned, received my nursing degree, and as a, you know, a combat medic, you know, and especially being a female, sometimes people forget that, you know, part of the force, armed forces are females. Right. And so I like to show, you know, what I've done, you know, the, my, my proud accomplishments, you know, where I've been, the people that I've served with, and you, you know, it, it's, it is very important. It's a big part of your life, right? It is. I mean, you served active for what, 14 years? 14 years, yes. Wow. And we always say, like, we do everything that we can. Some things we can't touch, some things we can. We do this really fast, but we try to do it well and right. Do you mind if we look? Oh, please. Good. I'm going to go start them. with this one. <laughs> All right. The bedroom. This is Jen's favorite part. Well. Oh, it's a blank canvas. 
It sure is. And it looks like they built this wall out. What's going on oh, here? Oh yeah, it's to hide the pocket doors okay. on it. But you know what I think? I think it needs a headboard moment okay. and a TV moment. I think that's the difference is we're gonna make everything go to the design level, have like a tailored feel to it. Okay. Not trying too hard, but let's go peek outside. Yeah, real good quick. idea. All right, well, it's and there's a lot <laughs> that can be done out here. And a lot of fencing, I noticed. Yeah, I mean, it's like fence upon fence. And then the pool, that needs a little bit of love. So how I look at it as is everything she's taken care of, but it's just a blank canvas. Right, well, I want to check out this carport over okay, here. Okay, yeah. What used to be the carport, I don't know what's happening. Okay, yeah, it looks like they tried to make this sort of a cool indoor-outdoor room. And listen, is it really functional? I mean, in Florida, I think you'd nef definitely need a place for your car. Yeah, and the laundry room, maybe if this becomes a carport, we close this off. Okay. Re like, Renna Center can help with new appliances. I, I feel like this one's pretty easy. Let's let's go back in the air yeah, conditioning. it's a little hot. I'm melting here. in Florida. Well, Michelle, we've had our way around your house. There's a lot of work to do, and you have a lot of work to do. You gotta pack up all of your stuff, but fear not, our friends at Pods are gonna help you out. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> awesome to meet you. Thank you. You're like, yes, awesome, packing up my house. <laughs> yes. It'll be worth it. See Get you excited. soon. See you soon. Bye, Lily. So the team from Pods came in this morning and they were like a whirlwind. I am so excited right now. There's so much hustle and bustle going on within there. The guys are being absolutely fabulous. They're getting everything packed up that I need to get packed up. At first, I was a little nervous, a little anxious. It, it, it's been a process and I, you know, I really appreciate the guys here now. This is coming together very nicely. As you can see, we dropped off a 16-foot container right here in the driveway, and you can see our preferred loaders that we can recommend are coming in, loading up the container, and later we will come back, pick up the container, and take it to our warehouse so that you have plenty of space to do the renovations. Hi, Shannon from Pods, so nice to see you. Oh, thank you for coming. We're so excited to be here, trying to make this day as stress-free as possible. Get all your stuff into the container and, and make sure that your house is beautiful when you come back. So exciting. It's such an honor to be part of this again. Michelle is so deserving. We always want to support our military family and you know what they do is so deserved and we want to make sure that we have and try to give them every kind of support option that we can. It is always stressful moving out, but we're here to make it as easy as possible. Once we fill the container, we'll deliver it to our local warehouse, and then we'll bring all your stuff back after your big, beautiful house is done. Oh, this is so awesome. So loading a container is a little bit more of a science than just throwing boxes into it. We're loading it with furniture, making sure that we're loading in four foot sections, side to side, ceiling to floor, strapping it down. You'll see some straps going in soon. And then um, we want to disperse the heavy items, not all of them in the front and the back. Make sure that we're taking advantage of all the space that's available in the container. Now that it's empty, I'm really excited. Change is good, but change is also scary. So I am excited to know that there's something you know new, but giving up that total control, that's a little difficult. Michelle? Yes. All of your stuff is packed in the container and we're ready to go. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I couldn't have done it without you. It's been such a pleasure. Well, congratulations and enjoy your new home. Thank you.
right, it's a brand new day, day one on the military makeover for Michelle Dingy. We have her moved out and we have our crew ready to go. Are you guys ready? Yeah! All right, so we bring in the big guns. We've got Tony from Monster Energy, Call of Duty, law enforcement veteran, Marine Corps veteran. Tony, are you ready to get in there and get to work? I'm ready. All right, well, listen, my friend, do the honors. All right, guys, it's demo time. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Let's Come go. On, let's do boys. it. All right, guys, let's roll. Let's roll. Let's go. Let's do this. Hey, Tony. Yes, sir. I need you to go to work, too. You ready? We go to work? All right, let's, let's go, go, baby. Let's do this. Baby, let's go! Hey, it's looking good in here, guys. Keep up the good work on the demo. Hey, Mark, you around? Hey, buddy. Thought I'd make myself hey, useful. Right. I'd bring you some Junk King containers here to get rid of all this demo. You are making quick work of the demo. Look, we gotta get it done. We don't have much time. Well, you got a bunch of guys working JWR construction, taking over our entire operation here on Military Makeover. Tell me what you've got going on. Well, we've got electric being roughed in. We've got demo happening. We've got plumbing being relocated. We got a short time to do a lot of work. Well, you guys really are making quick work of it. Tell me about your company. JWR has been in business for about 35 years, and we actually have a veteran that works with us, one of our officers of the company. And when we were asked to be part of this military makeover, we did not hesitate. And we're proud to be part of it, as well as everybody that's here working. Well, we are so happy to have you on board. Are we gonna get this done on time for the big reveal? Absolutely. Awesome, man. One last question for you, Mark. Uh, how do you get your hair to look so cool and spiky and rock and roll? And never mind, I don't want to know the secret on camera. You'll tell me about it later, all right? Here, use these garbage cans, buddy. Thank you. All right, back all right. to work. Come on, guys, we got containers. Let's get this demo out of here. Junk King, Mike, welcome back to the Thank show. You. How hey, are you? Hey, Tom, yes, good sir. to meet you, man. You Thank you for being here. Uh, give me a status report, man. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for having us. We're excited to be here. No job is too big or too small for us. Yep. Today we've got our 12-yard dumpster. Uh, worked perfectly coming down the street. Fits magnificently in the driveway. Yes, And perfect. it's the perfect uh, tool for the job. Residential driver is exactly what we're looking for. They're only 8 feet wide, so they can fit in a standard parking stall. Perfect. Now, where is this junk going to go? And obviously, we got a lot of stuff here. I'm seeing wood and metal. A lot of this can be recycled, right? Yeah, we pride ourselves on recycling. This is our third military makeover, and we try to recycle as much we can. Well, what was it about Michelle's story that wanted you to be involved in yet another military makeover? Excited to be here with Michelle. Just like her and myself, we have a lot of first responders and veterans in our family, and we're just so thrilled to be here and help her out. Well, we couldn't do it without you. Let's get Thank out of the you. way and let Thank you guys you so much. fill up this dumpster, right? Just keep recycling, sure. right? Absolutely. Hey, we're going to hear more about Michelle's story as she sits down with Montel. Don't go anywhere. Sergeant Michelle Dingy a 14-year Air Force veteran assigned to provide care and treatment for soldiers who had been horrifically wounded in combat. Her story begins right now. Thank you for having me. No, look, I am so happy, we are so happy that you are our recipient for this military makeover. How did that make you feel when you found out? Oh my goodness, I was so excited. I cried. <laughs> So excited to see your new home? Yes. <laughs> I can't wait till you see the big reveal. It's gonna be great. <laughs> You'll love it. Look, let's let's talk a little bit about, you know, you. You come from a family of military people, correct? Yes. Every male in my family has served in the military, and I'm the first female. Your brother, your father? My uncles, your my uncles? grandfather. Wow. You know, it takes a, a lot of strength and you know, intestinal fortitude and personal perseverance to want to be a nurse or a medic, right? Yes, um, it, it's definitely a vocation. I knew that I wanted to be in the medical field and I knew I wanted to work with patients. Oh, okay, and is it Keesler where 9-11 hit? So I was working in the family practice clinic at Keesler and I had walked up to get my next patient in the in the lobby and everybody was staring at 
the TV screen. So I went up to the screen and the first plane had already hit the first tower. It was already burning. Right. And we're standing there and we watched the second plane hit. It was funny because a lot of people were like, oh, that's, it's not really happening. You know, we were in denial. We were mm -hmm. like, you know, didn't understand what was going on. And then all of a sudden the base went into lockdown. And we sat there glued to the TV. Obviously, when I went into the military, you know, my mom was like, oh, we're not in war, we're okay. And then I called, I was able to call home and it's like, oh crap. Mm. You know. Well, that's right, do you heard the announcement that came on? What did that announcement say? Um, prepare your go bags. Wow. So went back to base, we were loaded on a plane and we were sent to Dover Air Force Base awaiting to be called. But then we had learned that it was a terrorist attack and that we may be going to war. And when that began, you were sent to? Ramstein Air Force Base. Gotcha. And then seeing those C-130s and C-17s coming in with all the wounded. Yeah, you said that there was like, when you first got there, within what, the first week, you were getting received with three planes a week? three planes a week. Between 80 and 100 injured service members? Yes, we were very busy. This was the height, height of the war. You're 19 years old having to look at some of the most horrific injuries I think this country has ever seen, right? To see someone your age being unresponsive, having a traumatic brain injury, being hooked up to a bunch of tubes, you're trained for it, but when you see it, it's different. The smells of burned flesh, the smells of gangrene. You know, these people are coming straight from the front lines. They're coming straight there. You're trying to get them taken care of, and that's forever. Just etched. Etched in your memory. The majority of them, you know, they come here, they're, they're still dazed. You're their contact, you're their human interaction, you're the ones that ground them, that they are out of the hazard zone and now they're safe. You know, so you have to, you know, support them emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually. And, you know, that can be a little rough, you know, trying to, you know, do that for all these people. And then sometimes you forget to do it for yourself, but that, that's, you know, you, you have to ground them. You didn't pay attention to how that was really affecting you at the time, did you? You, you don't. I mean, we go through debriefings, you know, after, you know, any exercise or, you know, things that, you know, every day we, we, we did a debriefing and you don't think anything of it. You know, okay, what could have, you know, what happened? What could we have done better? What went wrong? How do we fix this? But you never ask each other, how are you feeling? Did anything in, you know, impact you in a certain way that you need to talk about? You know, at that point in time, you think it, it's your duty. It's part of your job. This is what you're trained to do. You need to do it. And you have to compartmentalize. Suck it up. Suck it up. We are so blessed to have had you as our nominee and recipient of this military makeover. Thank you so much for being a part of the show, okay? Thank you for having me. And Michelle's incredible story continues on the next military makeover.